Good morning, my fearless ones. I don't have on my prescription sunglasses this morning because I want everyone to see my eyes this morning because I'm going to get really real this morning. <laughs> I'm really real all the time. I just try to keep it light. Um, you have a lot of videos. I hear people uh, introducing work from home and they're a little stiff and they want to try to teach you things in 15 minutes that it takes years to uh, learn uh, shortcuts and things like that so no 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 disrespect you know if you're a leader you should teach your flock <laughs> yesterday I get interesting calls all the time I get interesting voicemails all the time I get interesting texts all the time and you know what people's main purpose of contacting me is they have a need they're in what my mentor called pain the pain of lack of money the pain of being away from their family um pain and i understand that pain because i experienced it at one point in my life and i'm not exactly where i want to be shooks i want to be a millionaire you know that's just honest to god truth i want to be able to Oh, uh, walk the seven what they say to all the beaches of the world I want to be able to have more time freedom and that's what I'm working towards but this is a slow process you guys I think we get we we look at these thumbnails and we see a stack of cash and we think that we can join something for $49.99 and become rich overnight it don't work like that it don't work like that I'm screaming because I want you to understand that you cannot spend $49.99 and become a millionaire. No one has been able to do it. If there's a formula out there where you can join something for $29.99, $39.99, $59.99, whatever it is, $99, send it to me. I would have already joined it. I've been in this industry since 2010. I started working from home in 2010 because I was in pain. I, I actually signed up for a rise at my job, at my second job in the middle of the night. And you want to know why? Let me tell you. Let me help you out. Let me share my story. It was about 5 o'clock in the morning and I was the only one at work. And I worked in the medical field. I worked for Red Cross. And six of Red Cross employees called in. And I was the only one that showed up. I knew then I was done. I was done. I was tired. That was a second job for me. So I would get off my day job at 3.30. Pick up my kids from school. Sometimes they were already be in, at home. You know, bus. Say hi, bye, and go lay down. I have to be at my date, my night job at 9, 10 o'clock at night. I don't get off until 2 and 3. I have to come back home and sleep for two hours to go to my day job. And I did that five days a week and I worked the weekends at my, my second job. I did that for three years. Three. To buy my home. I stumbled on a rise and in my class my first class was $89 I took it was on a payday I took that $89 and I spent it on that class I had an IBO so I signed up under someone for two years Oh goodness, I might as well wait till the light change. Is he turning? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, my son in the car with me. I was trying to get him to school this morning. Usually I record. Usually I record after I drop him off. So I had an IBO for two years. And I did not know that I could be my own IBO. So I actually became an IBO just by accident. My family had a cell phone store that was open we were running it we had a customer base 
but when you open a business a brick and mortar it's like a third job it's like getting three jobs it was just too much work my whole goal of being an entrepreneur it was time freedom i had no interest in you know being at a company for 12 hours a day and then i have to come home and be a mom i didn't i didn't like it so i closed it i brought the business home base to have more freedom so i already had a business license i already had an established business so i became my own ivo i released my ivo that i had for two three years or whatever and became my own ivo I still to this day service for a rise I had someone text me saying I want to help my community help your community do what you don't need a rise to help your community you can dig in and help your community doing what you do locally let's just put it out there we are looking for results we don't like the process we don't want to learn anything and then they went on to say, how much do your company charge? I said, well, it's a 10% fee, kind of like tithes, LOL. No, I'm not, this is not a church setting. This is not a religious setting. Am I a spiritual person? Yes. Do I believe in God? Of course. He is the author of my life. He dictates how I move. I'm not telling you to do that. But he is the author of my life. And I acknowledge him daily. But don't come at me saying that I'm charging tithes. Because then I feel like you getting in, in, in a trickery arena. And that's not what I, I service this morning for Arise. To this day, I still talk to customers. I have made thousands of dollars with Arise just simply talking to customers. So even if no one ever signed under me, I'm still going to make thousands of dollars with the rise you want to know why because i've been with that company for eight years i've serviced multiple clients i don't need anyone to sign under me in order to make money i have multiple online businesses the reason why i offered a vacation to people that sign under me and actually certify is because people will sign up for these classes pay for them never show up that's one or they'll show up and only stay in class for two weeks. Or they will certify and never service. So it's an incentive to help people help themselves. And another thing where people would arise. You want to go out and get these business licenses so you can become an IBO. And you don't even know how to serve. You've never serviced a client with Arise. Never. You have never talked to a customer through the Arise system. How can you be an IBO if you never talk to a customer with the rise? Just tell me how. You don't even know what your CSP is talking about when they come to you with a problem. You know what a HT mean? You know what a CSP mean? Do you know any of these things? But you're trying to be an IBO. So you're looking at the money. That's why you wanted to know how much my company charge. My company don't get paid until after you get paid. Everybody's looking for the result. They don't want the process. I've been in business. I've been an entrepreneur for eight years. Do you know how much training I have gotten? I have trained, been trained by millionaires. People that don't, they don't have to do this. They don't have to coach. They have systems set up to where they don't have to do this anymore. They're doing it because they love people and they want to help. And that's why I'm doing it. You don't have to sign under me. I don't need you to sign under me. I've been a business owner for eight years. And I'm going to continue to make money. Because I'm willing to do what some people are not willing to do. I'm willing to not buy a lace front and buy a class. I'm willing to not do get my hair done to buy a course. So I can be a better entrepreneur. Because my ultimate goal is millions. I don't want a quick fix. Don't flash money in front of me because your money should be sitting in the bank. I'm not moved by that. You shouldn't be either. 
So if you come in to arise, come because it's you have a meaning, a purpose. You want to know why I like arise? Because I'm an introvert. I don't like dealing with too many people. So it, it's, it works for me. I'm a homebody. My birthday is in July, so I, I'm by nature like to be at home. I like to nurture people, so I care about people. I like to pour in my energy and time to people, but some people will waste your time. That's the reason why I said, please don't call me, because people will sit on the phone for 30 minutes talking about how they want to do this and how they need to do this and how they want to do that and how they need to do I need to be at home, my kids, my money not right, I need help, and then don't ever do anything. Never. My YouTube videos are unprofessional and lax because that's who I am. I left corporate America. I left corporate America because I didn't want to wear slacks and I didn't want to be in a stuffy environment. And I'm not going to make my YouTube videos stuffy. But am I professional when I'm on the phone with my customers through a rise? Yes. Yes. It's a professional setting. I just couldn't believe it. So you charge tithes? No, it's a 10% IBO fee. Some people charge 20%. Some people charge 15 Some of these people you working under, they are uh, signed under, never even work for a rise. They just want you to go out there and service so they can get your 15%. They don't have a clue. Last week alone, I serviced 50 hours through a rise. I don't need you to sign under me. The vacation giveaway was an incentive so you can make some money. Either you want to make some money from home and you want to do better or you don't. Nobody's pressuring you. This is your life decisions. Are you just trolling? Looking at videos for fun? I don't know. I don't look at videos for fun. I make money. I don't have time to sit up and study somebody's behavior if, if it's not, no growth involved for me. I don't have that kind of time. I eventually want to be free from any type of work. So my goal is to stack my chips and do what I need to do at 55, take a vacation every month. That's what I want to do. What do you want to do? What is your why? Figure that out. Before you try to become an IBO, before you sign up for anything, find out why you doing it. How much time and money do you have to invest? Because $29.99 is not going to make you rich, honey. It's not. You're going to have to invest in your education. You're going to have to invest in learning skills. What do you do? you want to do customer service? Do you want to do e-commerce? Do you want to do MLM? Do you want to do affiliate marketing? Figure out what it is you want to do. And when you figure that out, Find out how much it's going to cost you to get educated to do it. And then make up in your mind that's what you want to do. And do it. That's what I did. I have taken mortgage payments and bought classes. And made payment arrangements. That's how painful I was. That's how bad I wanted to get away from the workplace. That's how much pain I was in. I was willing to take a whole mortgage payment and invest in a class so I can do better. And I'm seeing results now. I'm able to go buy my kids a car. I'm able to go do things. Why? Because I took the risk. Entrepreneurs take risks. We don't sit around waiting and twirling our thumbs. We just get on in there. Because I have faith in Latasha. I have faith that I'm going to do just fine. Do you have faith in yourself? I'm going to wrap this video up. I've been on here for 14 minutes. But I just couldn't believe it. You charge like tithes? No, this is a fee. As an entrepreneur, it has to be an exchange, baby. I'm in business. There has to be exchange. I've learned too much. I've invested too much into my education to just give it away. It has to be an exchange. That's the reason why you'll never learn how to run a business on YouTube. Because they're not going to give you everything. It's not for free. You have to exchange, baby. You have to pay for it. 
just like college. You're going to have to pay for it. Only difference is it's cheaper than college. Until next time, you guys, God bless. Stay fearless.